So my wife comes home, throws a book on the table. Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life. And she's like, hint, hint. <laughs> and I'm like, hint? Hint what? It's like, this guy rich, Craig. This guy rich, dude. Let's get our act together. Read this book and come on. Get moving. So it takes me a look at this book. And I guess I'll do, I'll do a couple of videos as a, as a kind of, you know, kind of telling you what's up, what's in the book. Start with rule number one. Rule number one, stand up straight. Yeah, that's honestly, that's rule number one. Yeah, it's honestly, that's rule number one. Stand up straight with your shoulders back. You're going to take on the world. You're going to have to act like someone who's going to take on the world. Now, the first rule is kind of a common sense. Um, it kind of is a common sense, you know. You show up in the situation, act like you know what you're doing. Put your shoulders back, put your head up. Act like you're the man around there. And then someone's going to think you're the man. You walk in the place like you own the place. Yo, what's up? I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready to rumble. So some people are going to believe you. Walk into the place, act like you own the place. Somebody going to believe you. Someone's going to be like, oh, cool, he's here. Who's he? Uh, I don't know, but it seems like he's the man. Act like the man. It's kind of a, it's kind of a common sense thing. And then he goes into the science of it. Um, he uses an explanation for... Or he goes into a description of dominance rituals of lobsters, of all things. Yeah, lobsters are hardcore. I didn't know it either. Lobsters, lobsters kick ass, man. Don't, don't mess with no lobsters. They have elaborate rituals to establish, establish who the baddest ass lobster in the, on the ocean floor. You know? I'm the, I'm, the meanest, I'm the meanest lobster in town. You don't want to mess with this lobster, son. You want to see these hands? I don't think so. Let be told I'm the, I'm the baddest ass lobster on this here ocean floor. I'm from Maine, child. You don't play around with me, no. You want to see these hands? So, lobsters have this elaborate ritual um, wherein they try and establish their dominance. And there's, a four, there's four stages of it. Just, just to give you the general synopsis, there's four stages of it. And they try to establish their, they try to make, the, to establish the dominance before they have to get to actual combat. Because when lobsters actually get to actual combat, people get hurt. Lobsters hurt other lobsters and injure other lobsters. And he's kind of going somewhere with the, with the, with the premise of, in life, there is such a thing as, A positive feedback loop. Positive feedback loop is kind of like I said. You walk into the place, act like you're the man. Somebody's going to believe that you are the man. Then they're going to treat you like the man. Then you're going to start even acting a little bit more like the man. There's a positive feedback loop. Now, he even explores the neuro, neurologically speaking. This has even roots in serotonin release. And that's why he goes into the lobsters. When the lobsters... When a lobster gets defeated, you know, then he starts moping around lobster land. It's like, it's like, if you want to, if you want to succeed in life, rule number one, chin up, you know, hold your head high, shoulders back, act like you in charge, act like you're going to take charge. Of course, this being Peterson, you know, he goes into a, he goes into a more, um, you could say scientific, some people say deepity. He's, and he says, I quote, to stand up straight with your shoulders back is to accept that the terrible responsibility of life with eyes wide open. It means deciding to voluntarily transform the chaos of potential into the realities of habitable order. It means adopting the burdens of self-conscious vulnerability and accepting the end of the unconscious paradise of childhood, where finitude and mortality are only dimly comprehended. It means willingly undertaking the sacrifices necessary to generate a productive and meaningful reality. It means acting to please God in the ancient language. I was thinking when I read that immediately, pick up your cross and follow me. Pick up your cross daily and follow me. Then he goes on to say, quote, to stand up straight with your shoulders back 
means building the ark that protects the world from the flood, guiding your people through the desert after they have escaped tyranny, making your way away from comfortable home and country, and speaking the prophetic word to those who ignore the widows and children. Then he goes on to say, So attend carefully to your pastor. Quit dropping and hunching around. Speak your mind. Put your desires forward as if you had a right to them, at least the same right as others. Walk tall and gaze forthrightly ahead. Dare to be dangerous. Encourage the serotonin to flow plentifully through the neural pathways, desperate for its calming influence. Um, in brief, he explores some of the, the neurological impulses. You act like you're in charge, you act like you're confident, you walk with boldness, and actually, neurologically speaking, ser more serotonin is released. And you start to reshape your reality in accordance with how you are behaving. Like I say, you walk into the place acting like you're the man, so I'm going to believe you're the man. Now, that's sort of an unconscious, that's sort of a thing that... Uh, it's kind of a common sense thing. Doesn't hurt to have it reiterated, but it's something that unconsciously I'm sure I've done in my life. I've known that, you know, people who are socially successful kind of act that way intuitively. You know, they don't necessarily need to be prompted to behave that way. But there is definitely a neurological underpinning to it um, with, the, with how serotonin shoots through your systems and how it influences your behavior. And then I'll just read one last little thing. He goes on to say, quote, Thus strengthened and emboldened, you may choose to embrace being and work for its furtherance and improvement. Thus strengthened, you may be able to stand, even during the illness of a loved one. Bible says, having done all to stand, stand ye therefore. That's what I thought of when I read that. Even during the death of a parent, and allow others to find strength alongside you when you, they would otherwise be overwhelmed with despair. Thus emboldened, you will embark on the voyage of your life. Let your light show signs. Let your light show light shine, so to speak, on the heavenly hill, and pursue your rightful destiny. Then the meaning of your life may be sufficient to keep the corrupting influence of mortal despair at bay. Then you may be able to accept the terrible burden of the world and find joy. Look for your inspiration to the victorious lobster with its 350 million years of practical wisdom. Stand up straight with your shoulders back. That's Jordan Peterson. Amen. Kick ass. Go out there and kick ass. Let me just add that. Other scripture that occurs to me as I was reading that, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you believe that, if you believe that you have strength sufficient unto all situations, guess what? That is going to help you have strength sufficient unto all situations. So, practical wisdom, 101. Um, like I said, common sense. Used to be common sense. That's all on that, and then I'll do, I'll do the rest of them. Uh, have a little fun with it. 